welcome to Humble Warrior Yoga, I'm Caroline and today we're going to be going through a hands-free practice so if you've been struggling weight bearing into the hands and the wrists and your shoulders or you just fancy a break from being on hands and knees then this is going to be the practice for you. So we're going to get started at the top of the mat, finding our mountain pose. We're taking the feet hip width apart, just lift the toes, see if you can spread them a little bit wider, placing them back down again. Really see if you can press down evenly through all four corners of the feet. So we're thinking of our feet as being rectangles. And then going to lift the knees slightly. Keep a slight bend in the knees. Engage the quads, lifting up through the front of the body, lifting the crown of the head. And just tucking the tailbone slightly so we're able to ground down through the back body. Hands can be resting at the sides or the palms face forward. And then closing down the eyes. If that affects your balance in any way, by all means keep the eyes open. Just try to soften your gaze a little bit. Straight away, trying to find out equal parts breathing. So making the inhalations and exhalations the same length. Our practice today is all going to be standing postures. So when we look at our standing postures, we always want to start with the feet. So it's a bit like building a house. You want to build a solid foundation. So always starting by grounding through the feet. Because if we don't have a good foundation, further along the line, the cracks will begin to show. A couple more breaths here. Nice and slowly bat the eyelids open. I'm going to bring the hands together in front of the heart space. I'm just going to turn to face you for a moment. I'm going to interlace the fingers, take the palms to face away, press the palms away. Inhale, take the arms up overhead. If you exhale, bump the hips to the left side, bend over to the right. Lengthening out through the left side body. Deep breaths here. Inhale back to centre. And exhale to the other side. Inhale into centre. Just gently release the hands, floating them down. Go to interlace the hands behind the back. Draw the knuckles down and away. Really stretching through the front of the chest. And then see if you can just change the interlacing of the hands the opposite way, so the way that's going to feel a bit strange. You can lift the chest a little higher and gently release. Just have a little shake through the arms. So we're going to do some half salutations to get us warmed up, ready for our flow. Starting with the hands together in front of the heart. Inhale, drop the arms down, take them up overhead. As you exhale, you're going to hinge up the hips to fold all the way forwards. Forward fold, bend the knees. This first one, we're just going to grab hold of opposite elbows with opposite hands, have a little sway. You can do circular motions, side to side, just whatever feels good, releasing some tension in this lower back. Let the upper body be really heavy. So bring the hands back down. Bend the knees so the belly comes to the thighs. Take the arms out to the sides. As you press into the feet, come all the way up to stand. Arms overhead. Exhale, bring the palms back in front of the heart space. We'll do that again, only this time we're just going to add on. When you're ready, inhale, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold 
and forwards. Inhale, find your flat part position. So you want to think about making an upside down L shape with your body. Draw the shoulder blades back. Exhale, release back down. Bend the knees, bring the belly to the thigh, arms out to the sides as we press into the feet to come all the way back up. Exhale, bring the hands back in front of the heart. So adding on again. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, finding our flat back position. And exhale, folding back down. Bend the knees deeply, bring the belly to the thigh. This time we're going to lift the chest, lift the arms, finding our chair pose. Really try to make sure that the knees don't come in towards each other. Try to keep them parallel. Press into the feet to stand. Exhale the hands in front of the heart. And just have a little shake out. Now we're going to start our flow. We're nicely warmed up. Bring the hands back in front of the heart. Inhale, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, folding deeply. Inhale, finding our flat back position. Exhale, folding back down. Bring the belly to the thighs, bending the knees. Lift the arms, lift the chest, finding our chair pose again. Keep both feet on the ground as you take the weight into the right leg, stepping the left foot all the way back, finding a high lunge. Front knee is bent at a 90 degree angle, you're up on the ball of the foot, so the heel is lifted. If that's not working for you today, maybe you feel a bit unbalanced, you could try stepping the back foot in a little, or you can always just pivot that back foot down, finding warrior one leg. Take a few breaths. Try to find some ease in your high lunge. Maybe walk the feet further apart. Maybe you just need a wider stance. Inhale, as you exhale, take the arms back behind you, palms face down, take the weight forward. Imagine there's a mirror on the floor and you're leaning forward to look into the mirror. One more breath here. Coming all the way back up, arms overhead. And bring the hands to the hips. We're just going to pivot that back heel down. Straighten the front leg. So even though the front leg is straight, we still want to keep a micro bend in that knee. We don't want to lock the joint out at all. Just step the back foot in a couple of inches. Make sure that the pelvis is level. There's always a temptation here that the right hip will want to creep forward. We want to keep the right hip pulling back, the left hip pulling forward so our pelvis is level, facing forwards. Inhale, as you exhale, we're hinging at the hip, coming forwards. Just folding halfway. Remember to keep that little bend in the front knee. If that's too intense, we can be up here. You don't have to bend all the way down. Rising up. Take the right arm up overhead. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. And exhale, folding forwards again. Just coming down halfway. Inhale to rise up. And take the left arm overhead. Inhale to lengthen up. Exhale, coming forwards again. Really engage the core muscles here. And 
and then bend into that front knee, bring the hands down a few inches in front of that front foot. I'm going to lift the left leg up. Keep the toes pointing down so that the hips are level. And then we're folding over the right leg. Finding our standing split. And bend both knees, bring the left foot back next to the right, hip width apart, finding our forward fold. Bend the knees deeply. Lift the chest, lift the arms. Come to stand and exhale, bring the hands in front of the heart. You just have a really good shake out through the legs we take it to the other side. Starting with the hands at the heart. Inhale, take the arms overhead. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, find your flat back position. Remember to draw the shoulder blades back. And exhale, folding forwards. Bend the knees, bring the belly to the thigh. Lift the chest, lift the arms, finding our chair pose. Transfer the weight into that left foot. And with control, see if you can take that right foot all the way back. Finding high lunge on this side. And again, if that's a bit wobbly, your balance feels a bit out today, you can always pivot that back heel down. Taking a few breaths here. Remember you can always widen the stance if that feels better for you. And take the arms out behind you, palms facing down, taking the weight forward so we're looking into that mirror again. One more breath. It's okay if your legs are shaking. These are really strong poses. Coming all the way back up, arms overhead. I'm going to pivot the back foot down, straightening the front leg and just step up a couple of inches. Bring the hands to the hips. So the pelvis is facing forward. We want to keep the pelvis level. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. As you exhale, folding forwards, hinging from the hips, just halfway. Remember to keep a slight bend in this left knee. Coming all the way back up. Relax. Left arm extends overhead. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, folding forwards. Really engage the abdominal to help hold you here. Coming all the way back up. Take the right arm overhead. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. Exhale, folding forwards. This is really too challenging. You can keep your hands on the hips. One more breath. Bend into the front knee. Bring the hands down a few inches in front of that left foot. Kicking the right foot all the way up. Keep the toes pointing down so we're keeping the hips level. Folding over the left leg. And welcome that shake in the legs. Your body is working hard to stabilise. And both knees deeply. Bring the right foot back and the hip width apart. Forward fold. Bring the belly to the thighs. Lift the chest, lift the arms. Chair pose. Can we sink a little deeper this time? Last time. 
me know all the way back up to stand. Exhale, bring the hands down in front of the heart. Really just have a good shake out of the legs. Nice. Make any small movements that you need to. I'm just going to turn to face you again. So staying in mountain pose at the top of the mat. And interlace the hands, keep the hands, palms away, pressing away from you. Inhale, take the arms overhead. Exhale, bump the hips to the left, slide them to the right. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, back to centre. Gently release the palms down. Bring the palms together in front of the heart space. Closing down the eyes again. Allowing the breath to return to its own natural rhythm. Bowing the head to the hands. Just thank yourself for showing up for your practice today. For working hard. Namaste. Lift the head, back the eyelids open. Thank you so much.